Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start, as usual, I'm not a financial advisor and all the content and information in this video is my own opinion and my own market observation. So let's begin today with the one hour time frame because Bitcoin is forming our falling wedge right now, which is a bullish sign. So we might see another attempt here to break through the main resistance at around $8,300. The target here of this falling wedge would be the top at $8,350. But uh, I think that most likely we're going to get rejected here at the resistance. If we can break this line and also push towards $8,500, then of course uh, things would change and it would look much more bullish than it is right now. But as long as we are trading below this uh, main resistance, we are in this bearish uh, pattern. So here in the one hour, it looks like that we're going to stay in this falling wedge for quite some time still. So we have here the stochastic and RSI shifted to the downside. We are trading below the 15 RSI and stochastic is getting in oversold territory. So I believe that most likely if we break here this uh, 0.382 Fib line, we're going to have the next support down here at $8,050, most likely towards the end of this uh, wedge. And then usually we break out here to the upside. So let's see. It's also possible, of course, that we're going to um, already here get rejected and break out of this uh, falling wedge to the downside. But most likely we are going to break out here to the upside and retest here the main resistance line. So we can go over to the four hour time frame. Let's have a look here. Here also the stochastic is coming down from overbought territory. So here we still have a lot of uh, room to the downside. So even uh, in the RSI we're trading just at the 50. So if we're going to fail here in this uh, falling wedge and break to the downside, the push down to uh, the bottom uh, line here at 7,700 is very likely because here we have a lot of uh, room to go to the downside and also we're gonna lose the 20 moving average support here in the four hour if we're gonna lose this uh, falling wedge that we are creating right now. So let's go over to the daily time frame. Let's have a look where the 200 daily is lining up right now. So as you can see now the 20 and the 200 are crossing. So the 200 right now is at 8600 and the 20 daily moving average is coming down. It's also at around 8,600. Uh, so let's see. Here, the 50 moving average is uh, currently at $9,500. So if even if we see here a push at 8,500 to the upside, I believe that at this line here, we're going to get uh, rejected at the 50 line or maybe even here at the 0.618 uh, FIB line of uh, $9,400. But currently, it doesn't look like that we're going to this direction as long as we're staying in this uh, bearish pattern uh, right now. So I think that most likely, if we're going to have another test here of the bottom at 7,700, we might see here the breakout to the downside. But let's see. Here, the stochastic is getting into overbought territory. That doesn't mean much because we can stay in this area for many days. Uh, but the RSI is still uh, very oversold. We came up a little bit, but... Uh, here also we could stay for quite some time uh, in the oversold uh, territory. So let's see if we can uh, break out here to the upside uh, from this uh, falling wedge. Uh, if we have a quick look on the altcoins, you can see that Ethereum is again fighting with the 20 daily moving average here. Um, XRP managed to go above. Let's go over to Litecoin. So here also we are fighting to break the 20 daily moving average. So here I still... Uh, don't see any bullish signs in the altcoins so it doesn't look so good in my opinion and in Bitcoin if we're gonna get rejected here from the main resistance and go again towards 7700 this would be a big uh, problem for the altcoins so let's see maybe today we're gonna have some price action but uh, right now we are still uh, moving inside this uh, falling wedge which should be in theory a bullish sign um, but I don't see the price right now uh, go above the $8,300 line. So let's see what the day will bring. And with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. If you like the content, you know what to do. Make also sure to subscribe to the channel because I do daily TA videos and also you can participate to the $10 Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 100 subscriber. And also in my video description down below, you find some affiliate links that you can use to get some free cryptos and also the Bybit invitation code where you can get $10 immediately when you open the account and $50 extra if you put a deposit of 0 0.2 Bitcoin. So thank you for watching and we see us all in the next one. Bye.